Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. New for you at noon. Polk County authorities say no one was hurt following a fire in rural Mentor, Minnesota. The Polk County Sheriff's Office and Mentor Fire Department were called out around 2.30 Saturday morning on a report of a chimney fire. When they arrived, they say large flames were shooting out of the chimney and heavy smoke was billowing out of the house. There were people inside the home at the time. They were checked out by an ambulance crew and luckily released without injuries. We're enjoying some nice sunshine this afternoon and aiming for the 30s on this last day of November. Can you believe it? Let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Green to see what we can expect for this Monday afternoon. Hi, Lisa. Hi, we're making a nice recovery from this morning's low temperatures. Here's a look at where we dropped down. Getting dangerously close to zero. Three in Bemidji, Waskish, Roseau, Candu all dropped down to three. Fargo was at 10 and seven in Grand Forks. So it was a chilly start. And check out where we are now. We're really soaring out to the west where temperatures are already reaching the low 40s in Jamestown. We're in the 30s for many places in eastern North Dakota. Fargo, Grand Forks, right on the cusp of 30 at 29. And over to the east, we're in the 20s. So you can see where the warmer air has taken over already. And we'll continue to work our way up here for the next couple of hours. Uh, really feel that warmth out to the west. We've got some mainly clear skies, just a couple of clouds rolling through. You could see some high clouds right here in Fargo, but overall it's a mostly sunny day and we'll keep that sunshine around until it sets, of course, in the four o'clock hour. And we're going to see those temperatures uh, once again back into the 30s, but notice how they don't drop too much with the sunset tonight. The wind will continue to increase and it'll be a little brisk, but that will keep those temperatures from dropping as much as they did last night in the overnight hours. We will be warming as we head into the week this week we'll let you know how mild it'll get coming up in just a couple of minutes sounds great thank you lisa are the new restrictions helping to slow the spread of covid 19 in minnesota governor tim walls will give minnesotans an update this afternoon on the state of the pandemic walls will be joined by the minnesota department of health commissioner at two this afternoon we will be streaming that news conference live for you on our website, valleynewslive.com, and of course also on your VNL News app. And we will have a complete breakdown on his comments tonight on Valley News Live. Moderna now says it will seek emergency authorization to allow use of its COVID-19 vaccine today. New study results confirm the shots offer strong protection, ramping up the race to begin limiting those to begin limited vaccinations as the coronavirus pandemic worsens. Multiple vaccine candidates must succeed for the world to stamp out the pandemic, which has been on the upswing in the U.S. and Europe. U.S. hospitals have been stretched to the limit as the nation has seen more than 160,000 new cases per day and more than 1,400 daily deaths. Now, since first emerging nearly a year ago in China, the virus has killed more than 1.4 million people worldwide. More than 266,000 Americans have died from COVID-19, and the virus continues to spiral out of control in much of the country. Health experts are warning the situation will get worse over the next few weeks, fueled by holiday gatherings and travel. As Deborah Elferone reports, we will be hearing from the CDC this week on the distribution plan for the coronavirus vaccines. Millions of Americans are now home after Thanksgiving trips to see family and friends. Everybody was masked, but it's just nervous of sitting next to everybody. Health officials warned against gathering for the holiday. Now many are getting tested for COVID-19. We had a few people over just to be safe. Hospitalizations are already at record highs in 33 states. We may see a surge upon a surge. Officials with the White House Coronavirus Task Force say it will get worse. If your family traveled, you have to assume that you were exposed and you mm -hmm. became infected and you really need to get tested in the next week. In Los Angeles County, a three week safer at home order goes into effect today. It bans gatherings with anyone outside the household and puts new restrictions on businesses. The numbers are going up, then I think it's necessary that we do that. The CDC meets tomorrow to discuss who should get a coronavirus vaccine if it's available next month. Health experts say that the elderly and healthcare workers will likely be first in line. 
If you're part of the public, I want you to understand it'll probably be uh, end of first quarter, beginning of second quarter next year before you can get a vaccine. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy urged the public not to relax yet. For the next two or three months, we're in, we're in the fight of our lives. In neighboring New York City, elementary schools will reopen in one week. Students will be required to get tested weekly for the virus. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. Today, the Minnesota Department of Health is reporting 5,801 new cases of COVID-19, along with 15 additional deaths. There are 598 new cases of COVID-19 in North Dakota today as well, along with seven more deaths in the state. Federal executions in the future could be carried out with poison gas or even firing squads. The Justice Department has amended its execution rules, no longer requiring federal death sentences be carried out by lethal injection. The amended rule was published in the Federal Register. It allows the federal government to conduct executions in a way permitted by a state where the sentence was handed down. Some states allow electrocution, inhaling nitrogen gas, or even death by firing squad. The rule goes into effect on December 24th and comes as the Justice Department has scheduled five executions before President-elect Joe Biden takes office. Meanwhile, Wisconsin has now finished the recount of its election results, announcing the victory for Joe Biden in that state. Dane County finished recounting over the weekend. President Donald Trump picked up an additional 45 votes there. Milwaukee County reported its results on Friday, giving Biden an extra 132 votes. Altogether, the recount barely changed Biden's winning margin of more than 20,000 votes. The president promised to challenge the outcome in court even before the recount was finished. The White House has unveiled the 2020 White House Christmas decor. This year's theme, America the Beautiful, a tribute to the majesty and spirit of our nation. With ribbons flowing and lights shining throughout the White House, a Gold Star family tree honors our nation's heroes and their families in the East Wing, with the names of fallen service members written on the ribbon adorning the tree. Holiday cards sent by past first families over the past 12 administrations are also on display this year in the East Garden Room. As you are busy shopping on this Cyber Monday, remember tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. And Facebook is kicking off its season of giving and announcing a $7 million match of donations to U.S. nonprofits. The social media giant is also launching a new fundraising drive feature on community help to encourage people to give however they can. And you can get involved by starting a fundraising event of your own on Facebook or share or donate to an existing one. 100% of what's raised for nonprofits on Facebook and Instagram goes directly to those organizations. And in the spirit of giving, remember that Valley News Live is teaming up again with the Great Plains Food Bank for a virtual food drive. From food to personal hygiene products and diapers, there are a number of items that you can purchase and donate right from your phone. And if you could spare $50, that donation would provide 150 meals to those who need it most. To find out more, just download our free VNL News app, look for the virtual food drive, and click to donate. Coming up on your news at noon, see how Santa is connecting with kids amid the pandemic. But next, wrapping up November on a high note. Will the weather remain this nice as we move into December? We'll check in with meteorologist Lisa Green.